Welcome to another episode of Ghosts of England. Today we check out 12 real ghost reports from the county of Northumberland. Number 1. The Old George Inn The Old George Inn, located in Newcastle-upon-Tyne, has been known for its ghostly activity, which caught the attention of a ghost hunting group known as Gateshead Paranormal, and on the night of the 9th of June 2015 they decided to check it out for themselves. During their investigation, Terry Johnson and his group experienced unexplainable loud bangs and some incredible activity on their EVP equipment, and even came in contact with a spirit known as Paul. A link to their video can be found in the description below. Number 2. Shuna Hotel The Shuna Hotel in Almouth has had some interesting ghostly reports, and was even voted the county's most haunted hotel by the Poltergeist Society, but oddly, I nearly overlooked this report, until I saw that one of the ghostly occupants of this hotel was a chicken. By that, I don't mean a coward, I mean an actual feathered chicken. I honestly couldn't help but laugh. All I could imagine was laying in bed in a dark room. Suddenly, there's a scratching out on the landing. Your door opens. You close your eyes in fear. Then you hear the most terrifying, gut-wrenching noise ever. But... <laughs> Though it wasn't due to the ghostly presence of a chicken that made this hotel voted the most haunted. Also on site, a small child has been spotted, along with ghostly whispers and the odd sighting of a soldier. Number 3. The Schoolboy During the 80s at a private house in Alwinton, the spirit of a young boy dressed in a school uniform was seen in the witness's garden. The boy looked solid enough, but faded away once he walked to the gate in the garden. The local story believes that the schoolboy drowned in a nearby river. Number 4. Oddly Dressed Woman This next report had me a little bewildered. Usually you hear about ghosts staying close to the area in which they live during their life. But during the late 60s and early 70s, a girl reported that she encountered a short woman dressed in ancient Egyptian clothing in her parents' bedroom. Now, either it was the ghost of an ancient Egyptian that decided to travel, maybe she was on a holiday, or it was the ghost of someone that lived close by that had an obsession with the ancient Egyptian time period, which would make perfect sense as several decades earlier England did have a sudden interest in ancient Egyptian culture. Perhaps it was a fan, or an oddly dressed burglar. Number 5. The Struggle Our next report takes us to Hard Riding Farm in Barden Mill. Many people have reported experiencing what would be described as a fight between two people. Along with this would be the sounds of furniture and ornaments being knocked over, along with some grunts and groans. However, when the sounds are investigated, there is nothing out of place. The local belief behind this ghostly activity is that on one night in the past, a robber had been murdered in a fight after he broke into the property, and it is this ghostly struggle that can be heard being replayed. Number 6. The Returned a terrifying report from Berwick-on-Tweed. It was said that in the past a wealthy man who had passed away returned from the grave and walked the streets accompanied by a pack of dogs. After the locals had gotten sick of their ghostly encounters, a group of men dug out the grave to incinerate the body, hoping that that would put an end to the haunting. Whether or not it was a success, it is believed that most of the men that helped out that night died shortly after from an unknown disease. Scary. Number 7. Victorian Woman A gatehouse in Berwick and Tweed has a ghostly resident that clearly isn't leaving. She has been seen spotted very frequently. She has been seen ascending the stairs before fading away, and others have seen her peering out of the attic window. Witnesses believe the two events to be the same spirit as the woman is seen wearing Victorian-style clothing in both sightings. Number 8. The Women in Black the roads around Black Heddon have two ghostly spirits that have been seen. One ghostly girl dressed all in black has been seen floating around the village. It is believed that this spirit was accidentally trampled to death by horsemen, while another black figure that has been nicknamed Silky has been seen jumping on the backs of passing horse riders, scaring the rider and often scaring the horse into bolting away. Number 9. Gliding Woman a report from the late 19th century from a miner that says while he was walking down to a river in Churton, a phantom lady in black glided out from behind a set of bushes. She was accompanied by a large black dog. The lady came over to the miner and touched him on his head, before then gliding back to a hiding place behind the bushes. The miner during the whole encounter was paralysed by fear, 
It was the sound of a snapping twig that broke the petrification. The man then ran away quickly from the area. Number 10. Crasta Tower Reports dating back many years have been coming in from Crasta Tower in Crasta. Invisible coach wheels can be heard crunching on the driveway outside the building. While inside the building, a grey lady has been seen walking up the stairs of the tower towards the drawing room. Another pair of ghosts can be heard duelling outside of the tower, their swords clashing and clanging against each other. Number 11. Maria In 1974, a cleaner claimed to hear what sounded like a boy falling to his death while he was near the staff toilets in the Rain Engineering Company in Dunstan. While other staff members refused to use the toilet after many of them had heard a phantom voice calling out the name Maria. Who was the falling boy and who was calling Maria? No one really knows, but that didn't make it any less scary for the staff members that witnessed these ghostly encounters. But if there was ever a good reason not to like using the office toilet, being haunted is good as it gets. But hey, at least you'd never be constipated. And finally for this list, number 12, Man in Grey. During the three-year period from 1933 to 1936, the family of the Rose Villa in Forest Hall and even their friends said it was perfectly normal to see the spirit of a grey man walk up the driveway and head to the corner of the house before disappearing. Though this ghost appears to have performance anxiety, as after word of the ghostly visitation got out, many neighbours came to see the spirit for themselves, but the haunting stopped shortly after. That's it for this video, thank you for watching, have a good day, if you liked the video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.